beautiful people, my name is Brittany and I'm Chantel and today we're going to be talking about period positivity and loving your period Yeah. and yeah on this channel I talk about natural health and periods are really natural yeah they're the most natural thing about you, well there's a lot of natural things about you but, <laughs> but periods, periods is one of them and it's one we don't talk about as yeah much. and they're one that get a bad rep yeah and I feel like and we blame it for a lot of bad things yeah or we like demonize it yeah, and our experiences are really different. I think that, well, we're gonna talk about it, but I think that we both rather enjoy. I look forward to my period. <sighs> well, that's what we're gonna talk about. So why do you look forward to your period? Um, because it reminds me of it's like really raw and it's like really like it reminds me of like my body and how it functions and that it's healthy and that it's working and that I'm a woman um, so that's one reason I like it another reason I like it is because um, it is like a reminder to slow down and um, just kind of like go in and chill out and relax and meditate and do all of the good stuff that kind of like renews and can bring me to like the next phase. I love that. I totally forgot actually Chantel is teaching a webinar. A free class online on Thursday. Yeah, it's called Heal Your Menstrual Cycle and yeah. Yeah, so you guys can check that out if you want. There's info in the description box below. And going off of what you were saying, I was just thinking how for me, I feel like when I'm on my period, especially the first few days, it feels like a really intuitive inward time. Totally. And it feels like super special and I feel um, really connected to myself and like my emotions are on the surface, like really easy for me to access. Right, that's funny you say that because there's, I forget if it's like, it's in a book and I don't remember what it's called, but they actually refer to that time, um, it's like the veil thins, and if you think about it, like the uterus lining thins and you're more, you're like closer to like reality or other worlds and it's like you have a different perception in a way that's kind of how they view it i love that i know i was reading once about like different times in tribal days and how different tribes actually use that as a time like right. where women would go to this sacred hut and this space and that the tribe really relied on them to right. use this as yeah, a time yeah. of intuition yeah, for the tribe right yeah yeah i think we really lack that today and it's something that's really valuable that we could um, if we could like bring that back into our culture and be like super super valuable and I think that like we don't because um, we have all these ideas and misconceptions about periods and we kind of avoid it or don't look at it or think of it as something that's um, inconvenient or unsanitary right. yeah yeah I really notice how I feel like we're told to keep doing everything the same way and like you know how to kind of like eliminate this thing or diminish its presence in your life instead of embracing it because right. it feels like people have to keep like going at the same pace and right. go to their jobs or whatever like they can't sync up with their body's natural rhythm at yeah that time. our society doesn't really have space for slowing down it doesn't value that or see it as something that's um, really necessary for our health so what are some ways you feel like you celebrate your period yeah, so I, I just look forward to it in general. I like the feeling of like shedding or letting go, um, which it's definitely like, I, I really feel that very potently around that time. Um, another way I celebrate it, um, I do, I like to ritualize it. So I like to maybe take an evening to um, slow down, meditate, journal, light incense, like whatever it is that, uh, whatever it is for you that um, can kind of like, clear the space or make the space for uh, like rejuvenation. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, I really love those things. I love it as a time to go inward. Yeah, totally. And that feels very intuitive to me too to do that around that time. I know that a lot of people experience discomfort on their period. I was just about period. to say that, yeah. I was going to start talking about pain. Yeah, yeah. let's it's talk very, about that. It's very common. It is common. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be the case. Right. Uh, yeah, I think Period pain, in my opinion, is kind of like a reflection of um, just our, our unnatural lifestyles that we're living or even like 
uh, to go as deep as to say our ideas that we hold around our periods or our femininity. Louise Hay actually says that when women experience a lot of period pain, it's a it's like um, a symptom or a reflection of them like rejecting their femininity or like rejecting their power as a woman. So yeah. Yeah, I love what Louise Hay has to say about just about everything. So that's really cool yeah, to hear. Yeah, she's great. I've also noticed like physiologically how much my my whole body and including my menstrual cycle has changed since I've changed my lifestyle. Totally. Yeah. I, I know that I used to experience definitely more pain on my period. I even went through a stage where I didn't have a period um, and that was for sure for me just caused by um, I was not eating as well as I eat now and I was also super stressed. Like I just had a lifestyle that was really conducive to being stressed out all the time. So um, I went like about six to eight months without a period at all, and then when it did come back, I would only have it like every other month, and it was super irregular, like I never knew when I was gonna have my period. Um, and then when I did have periods, they were like really heavy and even painful in the beginning, like the first day or two, um, and I don't have that anymore, so. Yeah. now as opposed to then i i feel like i treat my period a lot more holistically so mm -hmm. if i do um have any usually pain for me these days is more like dull achiness the first day if i do have any of that rather than um taking painkillers or something i might drink some herbal tea or um, take a hot bath uh, and i definitely don't take any type of synthetic birth control anymore which personally i think helps me um so yeah i think i i in general i just treat it more holistically and I think that really helps with pain too. Some of the things that we probably both do but I'll say that I do to help keep my body in a state so that I don't have discomfort during my period are the big things for me are like how I move my body, how I'm fueling my body, so like what I'm eating. Right, that's, what a, I'm, that's huge. That's, 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 that's yeah, the biggest. I think totally. And then also just my stress level and what I'm taking in you know more emotionally. Right. So in terms of what works for me eating, I notice like, especially when my period's coming up, but all month long really, I really focus on fresh, like ripe fruits and vegetables. Yeah. For sure. And I notice like I tend to eat a, a fruit-based diet and if I have more fat in my diet, right. right like before or around my period, then I'll notice like pretty much immediately after I eat it, I'll start to get some cramps. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm actually on my period, I don't feel like moving my body particularly vigorously. Sometimes I do, but I notice if in the days leading up to it, I'm really active, right. that also helps. And then yeah. when I'm... Movement. Yeah. Especially while I'm on my period, I like to like move my hips, move my body, shake my butt. Undulate. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? Undulate. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like that's some pretty great stuff. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah, for sure. Can you I give enjoy us... talking about this stuff a lot. Yeah, me too. Because I think it's something that it's very common. Like, pain on your period is a pretty common thing, right? Right. But it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. Right. For most people, and I do want to mention just as a last thing that everybody's really unique and I know people's right. bodies have all sorts of things going on, so. Yeah, and it's a, and like, don't feel like you can just like change it overnight. It's a process, especially because like, it's a lifestyle thing, so. Um, it might take a while to experience better periods. So if people want to learn more about what's going on in your webinar, and can you tell us just a little Yeah, so like everything we just talked about, um, if you want to learn more about it, if you want to learn more about um, just how you can experience less pain and have healthier periods, and how your period is connected to uh, your creativity and essentially like how you show up in the world, then you can check out the free class online on Thursday and I think Brittany will put a link in the description box below. I will, and then that free class will still be available if you happen to be watching this video later on. Right. Thanks for coming on the channel again. Yeah, thank you. All right, catch you guys later. <laughs> I hate when I say shit like that and then when I'm editing the video, I'm like, Brittany, you don't have to acknowledge everything that yeah, I said. That's so nice. That's so great. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Great, great job. Yeah. A plus, Chantel. Period Barbie. <laughs> 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 what if like that was the last shot of us at the end going like... <laughs>